feeders at Atlanta's Georgia Aquarium served lunch today to the whale sharks, the largest fish on Earth. Tourists were awed. Rarely in captivity, little's known about whale sharks. But the real mystery and worry here is what's killing them in this tank. Norton, a 23-footer, sank to the bottom yesterday and had to be euthanized. The second death of a whale shark here in just five months. As with autopsies that are done with humans, necropsies with these animals, it can take weeks or months to get results back and start getting definitive ideas of what's going on. Aquarium officials still don't know what killed Ralph, the other whale shark that died here last January. Like Norton, he just drifted to the bottom. One possible cause? A pesticide used in the tank to kill parasites, a chemical the aquarium has stopped using. There are four surviving whale sharks here, and they all seem to be healthy. But with two others having died in this tank, critics are now circling. Much of the criticism's philosophical. Whether creatures so enormous and whale sharks can grow to 40 feet can ever be kept healthy in captivity. Obviously, sadness over the death of a magnificent animal. Um, and then anger because that animal uh, shouldn't have been there in the first place. In the open sea, no one knows how long they live. But in captivity, one Japanese study suggested they survive, on average, less than two years. Aquarium scientists say they grieve the loss of both fish. But these deaths give them an opportunity to learn more. Our job is to take the science and look for those various links, what could have happened. But these deaths renew a debate about large creatures on display, whether the real killer is captivity. Mark Strassman, CBS News, Atlanta.